have a seat. Just going over our trade sheets, can help but notice you bought another 100,000 shares of Gillis Industries. It's going to be fine. I Do I look like an asshole to you? Where the hell did you get the money? You know where I got the money. I bought the shares on margin. And you leveraged my company. Bylaws said I can do it. I don't care what the bylaws say. You did this without asking. Look, I know you're pissed. Oh, I'm not pissed. I've been waiting for you to have the balls to do something like this since you got here. You raised my risk, but you also raised my reward. And on top of it, you did it like an investment banker. Without permission. <sighs> well, thank you, John. Go get him. One more thing. Yeah. You have a week to deleverage my company. If you don't, you're out of a job. So it go just like you said it would? Exactly, except for the part where if I don't find a new investor in a week, I'm out of a job. Well, I'm surprised he gave you a week. <sighs> Maybe it's not funny. I know it isn't. I was just trying to make the best of the situation. Well, if you want to make the best of a situation, get me a meeting with Tony Giannopoulos, because if I can't get in there, I'm in trouble. We are in trouble. You really mean that? You think I'm staying here if you leave? Thank you, Amy. I'm just kidding. Epstein's been trying to poach me since the day I got here. Mm. Yeah, you think those flowers bought themselves? Mm -mm. It... Wow. Hey, Mike, you need to see something. No, I don't have time. I'm working on the Giannopoulos proposal. Yeah, that proposal isn't going to matter if they win this. God damn it. Harvey's trying to roll back the TRO? No, it's not Harvey. Check the docket. It's some woman named Lois Litt. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. I know how to handle her. Um, here. This is 90% done. Check it over. Make sure there's not one comma out of place. Uh, Mike, come on. You know, I can do more time, than I don't have time, Amy. Just do it. OK. Amy! I thought I asked you to leave the Giannopoulos proposal on my desk. And I did, 20 minutes ago. What? OK. Do you proof it? No. I thought you'd have a better chance if the document was riddled with typos. This is important. I know it is, which is why I read it backwards and forwards. OK, did you add the part about the leverage recap like I asked? I did, but your figures on the non-voting stock didn't add up. So I proposed a staggered board to make up for the imbalance. Staggered board? Yeah, don't act so surprised. I'm sorry, I just thought that you... You just thought that I didn't know anything about what goes on here? <laughs> Listen up, T. Boone Pickens. I actually know a lot about this business. Okay, I said I'm sorry. And I know more than enough to know that that looks like every other proposal that's come across my desk. Well, that gives me a load of confidence going into this meeting. I'm not trying to destroy your confidence. That's the one thing you have going for then you. Then what are you trying to do? Mike, you're not here because you crunched Sidwell some numbers. You're here because you solved a problem for him. All right, get rid of this. And, and bring you everything I can find on Tony Giannopoulos on it. Amy, why aren't you? Why am I an assistant and not an investment banker? I'm getting my PhD in psychology. Money bores me. You're kidding me. So this is all mine? Yep. In 20 days, the public access will be gone, and you will have yourself a quarter mile of private beach. What about the Southampton City Council? What about them? They're a bunch of public access loving. Like I said, what about them? How'd you do this, Mike? Well, the question isn't how I did it, it's why I did it. Oh, you want something from me? Just your consideration. Well, you've earned it. Go ahead. Not interested. You didn't even look at it. Oh, I don't have to. You just said that I earned your consideration. Mm hmm and you just got it. But Gillis Industries is ripe for a turnaround, and I already own 7%. Well, congratulations. Now go beg someone else for money, because you're not getting mine. I don't understand. You don't have to. Now get the hell out of my office. Mr. Giannopoulos. I said get the hell out. 